So how much have you celebrated recently? I was taking a walk with my fiance a couple days ago and she was telling me that we should celebrate my half birthday and I was kind of confused because I started to think, well, should I celebrate my quarter birthday or my monthly birthday? And then I realized as I began to think about it more that I think we actually under celebrate. And I think we under celebrate people. We under celebrate the people closest to us, the people that we need to be celebrating. We under celebrate them. You know, there's this passage in the Bible where Jesus, his first miracle in the book of John is at a wedding. And what he does is he takes water and he turns it into wine. The wine had run out and you know that this wedding was probably a celebration for the whole community. And Jesus knows that if there is no more wine, the party will probably end. And Jesus turns water into wine. Now I think there's two miracles in this story. The first miracle is that Jesus turns water into wine. But the second miracle is in the celebration itself. The fact that there is celebration, the fact that you can celebrate other people, the fact that you can celebrate communities is, I think, a miracle. It's a miracle about what it means to be human. So I think we need to celebrate more. And I think we need to celebrate each other more. And I know that this time is difficult. This is a time of chaos and uncertainty. But I think that means that even more now, we need to celebrate each other. We need to celebrate the people closest to us. We need to celebrate the people who have taught us and nurtured us and formed us and shaped us. We have got to to celebrate the people in our lives who deserve to be celebrated. Because Jesus knew that we had to celebrate and we had to continue to celebrate. Amen.